couple of days ago, the Fortnite Twitter account put out a survey of the most popular locations to land a battle royale, and it got me thinking. What are the best locations to land on the map? Or more interestingly, what are the worst landmarks to find materials, weapons, and set yourself up for a successful game? Hi, my name is Adrian from Impractical Gaming, and we're going to dive right in from the battle bus to the top 5 worst landmarks in Fortnite Battle Royale. Number 5, E3, aka Tomato Town. Great name, but not such a great landing spot. Including the red house and the tunnel, there are only 5 buildings for you to loot from. Each not much bigger than the last, with only 5 possible chest locations for you to loot from. Comparing to somewhere like Flush Factory, which is similar in size and has 6 possible chest locations all in close proximity, this is pretty poor and not the greatest way to start a game. The materials are pretty scarce, unless you plan to completely rip down every building and truck, this isn't the best scenario for squad or solo games. To add to that, the entire area is in a ditch surrounded by hills and cliffs, so if you get caught off guard by the enemy, you're already at disadvantage, and it's no wonder only 2.6% of players choose to land there. Number 4, F2 and F3, aka Wailing Woods. It's great in theory if you like to hide out between trees and gather enough wood to build Noah's Ark, but the reality is landing here will put you at a major disadvantage. Disregarding the Christmas trees in the winter patch, there are only 3 chests available here, here and here. That's the lowest of all the major landing spots in the game, and it's one of the spots that takes up the most space on the map. Taking into account RNG, there's a good chance you can land here with just one measly chest to go into battle with. You may not get a long competition, but you also won't get a lot of loot. But hey, you've got 999 wood to use, I guess. Maybe. Number 3, the top left of E4, aka Dusty Depot. I have a real gripe with this place for many reasons. There's just not a lot to work with. There are three chests you can grab in each of the warehouses, but due to RNG that doesn't equate to much. To add to that, you're in arguably one of the most dangerous parts of the map. The area is so open, you stick out like a sore thumb, and it's basically a sniper's heaven. Not only that, for a place that is more or less made of metal, you get very little of it. Each container, if you hit the sweet spot each time, which is about 12 hits, you get around 20 metal. You can get the same amount for hitting a car 3 or 4 times, or just by breaking a couple of fences, so it's a huge waste of time just landing here. Long story short, Dusty Depot sucks. Number 2, F5 to G5, aka Moisty Mire. There are around 8 possible loot box locations, which is quite a lot. Unfortunately, they're all separated by mud, which is literally the slowest you'll ever move in the game. You can use the wood from trees to travel across, but then you're left with no materials until the next spot. The mud can be used to your advantage to get the jump on people, but if you're spotted first, you're basically dead. Add to that the location is in the bottom part of the map, and surrounded by much higher ground, I wouldn't recommend it. And coming in at number 1 is C3 to D3, basically Loot Lake. Some of you may argue this point, but hear me out. Now the name doesn't deceive with over 14 loot chests you can grab. The problem is they're literally miles apart from each other. On islands, in houses, in boats. Boats! Who would think this is the best place to go? Even if you wanted to grab all of them, you either have to swim to shore or use even more of your resources, which is just a waste of time. Mostly might have had mud, which is worse, but in Loot Lake you could be spotted from a mile away. All it takes is one sniper bullet and you have no real way to protect yourself. You're in the middle of the map, nowhere to go, easily surrounded and on lower ground. This is suicide and easily the worst place to land in Fortnite. And that's it for my top 5 worst Fortnite landing spots. Leave a like, subscribe, share and comment on any places that you think should have been included and didn't make the cut. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.